Hello! Welcome to my video. My name is Smithy and in this video I'm going to be doing the Hasler to Yenister trade run with a Timber Coop car. As you can already see, I'm plotting out my course on the map. Now this is a long one. This is going to take I'd say between 20 and 23 minutes at the most. Like you'll definitely do it within 23 minutes. This is the longest trade run route that you can do that will give you the most gold for your pack. In the description below I'll have a list of links to my other trade run videos where I use the shortcuts that I'll be using in this video and I'll also be mentioning them at certain points during this video. Okay, make that last pack, get in the car, close the boot, turn the engines on, don't forget your owner's mark, and off we go. Hasla to Yenister. Now, I'm making my own pack in the video, but as you will know if you play the game, sometimes somebody will make a whole load of packs and just leave them there. Uh, most likely European players or other people's alts. Uh, they're just trying to make some easy gold, getting you to do all the hard work. You can use those packs, but you'll get less gold when you hand them in, obviously.
Now on the bottom left of the screen you'll see a video that pops up. Uh, that's a video I did on how to escape Paranor Ruins. Because there are different ways, different paths that you can take into Windscour Savannah. So if you know there's some guy or maybe a couple of guys waiting around you know, to jump on people to steal their packs, then you just take another route. So if you're interested in seeing those different ways then click on the video and it should take you to it. There will also be a link in the description below for that video. Whenever I see that the barricade coming up is open, I just go for it. But you can also go around the side over the mountain to avoid the barricade. Sometimes the barricade doesn't load in in time, so it gives you just enough time to get through it before it loads in. Now in the bottom left you'll see another video popping up, that's right, that's another video I made uh, about how to escape Windscow Savannah and get into Falkov Plains using various shortcuts with the Timbercoop car. So if you're interested in learning those routes just click on the video and it should take you right to it. I'll also add a link in the description below. Now if you've never climbed up a hillside before with the car, I'll give you a brief explanation. So I like to have the car on auto drive, so that's the W and numlock key. So I'm just using the A and D keys just to maneuver the car left and right. Now you just drive up the hill and at a certain point the car won't be able to go forwards anymore. That's the moment you hit your spacebar, hold it down. Right, and use your A and D keys to remove your car to keep it straight. Now what's going to happen is it's going to send power into the rear wheels of the car, pushing it up and it'll be like it's just ice skating all the way up to the top. You can see the smoke coming off the tires, that's me holding down the spacebar button and I'm just slightly using the A and D keys just to keep it straight. Now when you get to this top bit here, you're not out of danger. You still gotta go up another slight hill using the same technique. Now the recording looks a little bit different here because I had to use film footage from a, another video of mine because at that moment I had a huge lag spike and I was going 
one frames per second up this hill. It was taking forever, so I just edited that bit out and added in this footage. Now when you get up this hill, I recommend you go more to the right instead of where I'm going in this video. Uh, as you'll see, I make a slight mistake, but it all works out in the end. Uh, go down the hill slow. Don't go too fast, because uh, that will make your car flip. Just like what I'm going to be doing here right now. I'm going way too fast. Flip my car. It tumbles, it tumbles. But... RNG Jesus smiles upon me and I'm upright and off I go. Now I'm going to be going through this small housing area to get up to this small hill here. It all really depends on your server, there could be walls, there could be larders, there could be anything blocking your way to get to this point. Just make sure you get here and you just drive up this hill, it's very easy, no problem. In the bottom left you'll see, yes you guessed it, another video of mine that I made. Uh, that one shows the trade run route from Yenistut to Falkorf using the shortcut that we're going to be using now. So it's actually the reverse version of what I'm going to be doing now. So if you would like to see that just click on the video and it should take you there. There will also be a link in the description below with all the other ones. Now we're going to go downhill here. I recommend you take it slow to decrease the chance of you getting awkwardly stuck or even flipping over when you get to the bottom here. Uh, I know a lot of people love to go full speed and do some stunt and fly right over this but um, I'd rather just take caution and not do that.
here's some more of that lovely lag spikes I was talking about earlier. But this one luckily doesn't last as long as the previous one did. So in the bottom left you'll see another video popping up and I promise this is the last one. Uh, it's a video where I go from Falkorf to Yinister with using the shortcut but I show how to get to both gold traders. Because in this video, the Haslow run, I'm just showing you how to get to the gold trader outside of Kainord. But in the, that video, if you click on it, towards the end, well, I think the last 10 minutes, it will show you how to get to the gold trader inside Kaynord, but using the back door entrance. And there's a sort of sneaky route that you have to take. But personally, I much prefer going to the gold trader outside of Kaynord. So click on the, the video if you want to go and watch it. Uh, there will also be a link to it in the description below with, with all the other ones. So this next shortcut, you know, I quite like taking this shortcut because you avoid having to go along the road, so you get less detected. You don't have to drive through all the farms, all the houses, and maybe get stuck. You know, it just bypasses all of that, and it's a very simple shortcut to take.
approaching the gold trader now that's the end of the run now it wasn't the most perfect of runs I'll admit that I had lag I bumped into stuff I even did some car rolls and flips but you know you're gonna have your good run sometimes and you're gonna have your bad runs just be glad you got here safe with all your packs 18 gold a pack for 21 minutes not bad alright guys I hope this video will help you in the future thank you for watching my name is Smithy and I'll see you guys at my next video